Now check this out. I talked about this before, and I want to I want to briefly bring it up again because it's important. When I first started doing photography, my first camera was the Nikon D60. I don't know why I went with Nikon over Canon, but I went with Nikon. First camera was the Nikon D60. I remember the first camera, but I don't recall the first lens. It might have been a 55 to 200 kit lens. Matter of fact, I think that's what it was. A 55 to 200 kit lens. But anyway, um, I bought the camera from Best Buy here in the town I live in now. I lived about an hour away in another town, a small town. So when you hear me say small town, a smaller town, because this is a small town too. But anyway, I bought the Nikon D60. I started taking pictures with it. I was very disappointed in my pictures, very disappointed in the pictures that I was getting. And so like two, maybe two, three months later, I go back to Best Buy for another reason. And I see the guy that sold me the camera. And so I start talking to him. He don't, I don't know if he remember me or not, but I start talking to him. And uh, I express my disappointment in the camera. And he want to know why I'm disappointed. Because I'm telling him because, you know, the pictures that's there next to the photography cameras that's on display to show you what type of quality those cameras can produce. All right, I'm like, my pictures don't look like those. So he started telling me about lighting, how I have to use lighting, because I felt like, honestly, my pictures didn't look like professional pictures. I felt like the pictures I was taking looked more like cell phone photos, more like Polaroid photos. It, it did not look professional to me because I was looking out at other people's stuff. And he told me I have to use lighting. So this is where this whole lighting thing started with me. This is where it first started with me. Now, I was living in a, 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 small, a small town where um, people were not using off-camera flash. People were using, it wasn't a bunch of photographers there anyway. People were using flash, but on top of their cameras. And to me, that was never a flattering look. But when I used to look at Flickr and stuff, not even YouTube, when I used to look at Flickr and stuff and see those photos and soft boxes used, double diffuse, oh man, I love the look that that produced. So when I started using off-camera flash in that town and other places, and listen to me, I'm not saying I started off-camera flash, but I brought off-camera flash to that town. And people thought it was strange that I would use flash, use light in the daytime. Because normally everybody's way of thinking is you would use flash at night to produce more light to light your subject. But why would you use it in the daytime? And because I fell in love with flash. Let me tell you something. Once I started using flash in my photography, I never went back. I always loved how it looked. I always loved being able to control the background. Like you see a lot of people with sunny shots and sun in the face of their subjects, or, or they might be a little dark and the background is brighter. I never liked stuff like that. I like to control my background and, and, and light my subject. I always liked how that looked. Flickr played a major part in and my photography today, because a lot of stuff, even with me getting art lenses, Flickr played a part in that. I saw my first art lens. I saw a 50 millimeter. Now, the 35 millimeters, the first art lens that ever came out. If I'm wrong, correct me. That's the first art lens that ever came out. But the 50 millimeter art was the first lens that I ever saw because I saw a picture of a guy on the bleachers, Caucasian guy, and I saw the quality of it. So Flickr played a major part. And once I fell in love with off-camera flash, let me tell you, I just, I felt, I can't go back to natural light. Now, I'm not saying I don't like natural light. I like natural light when other photographers do it. But for my own work, I hate natural light. I hate natural light. 
But not saying I would never do natural light, but I'm not a natural light photographer. I'm an off-camera flash photographer. I am a strobist. I shoot with lights outside. You might see me outside with one light. You might see me outside with two lights. Might have three all together, but two using at the same time. That's just how I roll. And um, and that's what sparked up interest to start doing these four-hour shootouts every year. And let me and let me tell you, for those who don't know, uh, at, at first I really didn't have the confidence to do the four-hour shootouts. I was like, when it when it came to my first came to my mind, I was like, nah, ain't nobody gonna sign up. Ain't nobody gonna sign up. You know? Because even though a lot of people tell me my work is good, a, li- a lot of people is telling me my, my work was amazing, and people can tell you your stuff good. People can tell you your stuff is amazing, but you have to believe it. You have to believe it yourself. Because there's people out there right now that I know that, matter of fact, I ain't gonna get into that. Let's keep it me. Let's keep it me. So I had to believe that. So when I jumped out there, put it out there, I said, you know what? I'm just going to trust God to send people, to send people. So people signed up. Now we're on our second year. More people signed up. But what I found out this year that I would like to do for the next one, maybe have less people. That way I could really work with individuals and individuals could get more time with me and they could ask more questions. And not only ask more questions, they can shoot more. So like, Next year, say if I get a bunch of people, we're going to have to break those up into separate dates because I'm going to work with a limited amount of people. People want to use off-camera flash. And, and, I, and, I, and, I, um, and I appreciate that because that says a lot. Like That says you see, you see something in my work. If you're coming to me, you want to pay me your hard-earned money to teach you off-camera flash. Let me tell you something. Off-camera flash is amazing. I love that look. I can't express it enough. I could never go back to natural light, even though I am going to do a natural light versus off-camera flash video. I I do want to do that, even though we've seen hundreds of those, but you haven't seen one from me. So I plan to do that because there may be times in my photography where I might have to use off-camera, where I might have to use, I'm sorry, where I might have to use natural light. There might be a situation where I just can't get a flash in that location, in that spot where we're standing, wherever, and I might have to go with natural light. So I'm going to do it for the sake of a video, and we're going to see how that turn out. But my heart, my heart is with off-camera flash. I love how it look. I love the look it produces. I, I feel like lighting helps my, my lenses shine. The lenses are sharp already, but I feel like it just helps my lenses shine. There's guys out there who work I love that, that do off-camera flash, that do natural light, and there, there's some that do both. There's a bunch of guys out there that do both, natural light and off-camera flash, but off-camera flashes, that's my thing. That's my thing. I'm telling you, once I started doing this, I have never went back. I started with Nikon speed lights, the SB600, I think, SB600, 800, one of them. I started with that. Then I bought two. I started using two of those outside. Then I, I went to the Alien Bs. I started using the Alien Bs with a big power box, bringing a big power box outside. Then next thing you know, they started making flashes, well, cheaper flashes, because they had expensive flashes that were battery powered out. But then they started making cheaper flashes that was in my bud- within my budget that were uh, battery powered. Then I moved to that. I moved to that. So I moved to the Godox. I moved to the Flashpoint Explorer. Now I use, uh, that's a shame, I can't even tell you. Now I use the newer, I use the newer I6Ts. I got two of those and an I40. The I6Ts, in case you don't know, that's 600 watts. The I40 is 400 watts. I barely use that, might throw that up on eBay. But anyway, 
I just wanted to talk to y'all about my love for off-camera flash. It has changed my photography. It took my photography from, from plain to beautiful. Just making, a, making your subject just stand out from the background is, is beautiful to me. It's beautiful to me. I could never go back to natural light. And, and so you'll know that does not contradict what I said earlier. I said there might be times where I might have to use natural light. But when I say never go back to natural light, I will never be a natural light photographer. I love flash too much. Can't you tell I love lights? Look at all this around me. Look at all this around me. I got a huge soft box right here with a grid on it in front of me. I got a light back here on the, on the, to the side of me, uh, behind me, giving me some rim light. I love lights. Look at all the lights. I love lights. Anyway, I am Tron Moses of Tron Moses Media. I'll catch you on the next one.